Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect this power adapter to the Akeo 360 degree mirror dash cam. You would need to connect this in order to use your parking monitoring feature. I purchased these few steps to make the installation easier. I'll leave a product link in the description below in case you want to purchase these as well. So how these work, if you're tapping into the fuse box which already has a fuse in it, you remove that fuse and put that fuse on the bottom one here. And then your new fuse, the accessory fuse, is going to go on top. So in our case, we're going to take the power adapter from the Akeo and we're going to connect it on top. Just like that. My car uses a low profile mini fuse. The Akeo comes with just a mini fuse. It's not low profile, that's why it sticks out, but it will still work. Now you wanna go to your vehicle and locate the fuse box, which mine is right up here. Now with the vehicle off, locate the fuse which has power running to it. I got the two leads here. I'm going to put this to ground and put this to one of the fuse. And I got one here. Looks like this one is our instrument lighting. Instrument panel lighting. I'll make note of that. Now you want to find the ACC fuse. Mine was easy as mine was labeled uh, Ignition ACC already. But what you want to do is go ahead and uh, check a fuse that has no current right now, no power. Okay, yep, the ACC ignition is no power right now. Then you want to turn your engine on. Press the brake. And then make sure that fuse has electricity going through it, which it does at 13 volts. So those are the two fuses that you're going to tap into. All right, now you want to connect your wires. So the red one is ACC and the yellow one is battery or positive. I'm going to go ahead and do the positive first. I'm going to grab that fuse. Right, once I got it out, I'm going to go ahead and place it in the bottom. Right, just like that. And just like that. Now, since this has a line going out to it, the power adapter has a line going out to it, we don't need to connect anything to this wire. We can cut it or just leave it. And then we just go ahead and plug it back into the spot. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing for the accessory. Got the fuse out. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Then we're going to go ahead and push it back into place. All right, and for the ground, 
I'm gonna find a bolt, which I don't know if you can see, I have a bolt right there, which I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw this in. And that's how the fuses look. So this one here is my positive, the battery. This one here is the accessory. This is where you get your power source. You plug it to here, through the headliner, under the dash. So I went under here. Now that everything's connected, you wanna make sure Turn that off. So you want to make sure your G sensor is not on off. You can set it to low, minimum, or high. I got mine on high right now. Now for parking monitoring, when you turn your vehicle off, you want to make sure you choose sleep. It's memorized on the last setting, so just make sure it's on sleep. And in order for parking monitoring to work, you have to wait for at least 60 seconds for it to activate. Now that 60 seconds has passed, when your car gets hit, it will record. You will hear that beeping noise. It will record for 15 seconds. Now let's go ahead and start up the car. and see if it recorded. So you wanna make sure it's not recording. And you're gonna look for the file that says SOS. That is the parking file. It will record. You will hear that beeping noise. It will record for 15 seconds. There you have it. So that's your front and of course your rear, there it is, your SOS. Alright, and then your side. That's how I installed the power adapter for the Akeo 360 degree camera. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget, like and subscribe and I'll bring you more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.